Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 19, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, this was a horrendous day for the NASDAQ. We are down at this current stage of 5.07%, and basically, this entire rally here has been wiped out. So, so um, I have been getting questions today whether or not I think we are basically going to go lower. Yeah, probably. Um, but at this current stage, uh, we are approaching um, oversold conditions in the RSI. And usually, when uh, these markets get to oversold conditions, you can see it right over here, we tend to basically rally. So we are basically really close. We have been there several times and we have seen these minor rallies. It doesn't mean that we'll, we'll see something similar to this, but we may see a rally up towards the 50 moving average, getting the RSI up towards the 50 or probably up to 60 before going uh, the next leg down. Something similar to this rally here, uh, because this just can't continue. If we look at the weekly chart, for example, we can see that it is oversold in the weekly chart. And if we look at historical um, for the weekly chart, every time it gets near oversold condition, this was back in 2020, 20, um, the coronavirus. This was back in 2018, also here, also over here in 2016, and also, and we can go all the way back towards every single oversold conditions in the NASDAQ, and it has had a major rally afterwards 20 uh, 2008 financial crisis and also back here in the dot-com bubble doesn't mean that we will go back into a bull market it only means that this market can't continue falling forever um, at this current stage i think that we are heading towards the 200 moving average at the weekly chart which is down at the 10.7k at this current stage so at this point weekly chart it is oversold and therefore I'm being really careful in this market. So if we look at the daily chart again, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish and approaching um, approaching oversold conditions. If we look at where we may find resistant, we basically didn't even get close to the simple moving average, 20 simple moving average. So move this way, and if we get a rally, we'll mostly get rejected there as well. Uh, for tomorrow, it's probably going to be the case that we are going to rally here and then see this market can tumble yet again. As I said, it can't go down forever. If you look at the four hour charts and so on, they are significantly oversold at this point. If we were to rally above here, then we have the 50 moving average moving in this direction. And that will definitely be a major barrier. And after that, we have the 200 moving average and moving this way. So we are heading for uh for a long-term downturn in this market and yes as long as the fed is is uh, planning on cutting back on quantitative easing and uh, increasing interest rates that will last at least one or two years and then we will uh, will most likely see this market um head to the downside so if you look at the sap 500 we have it here we can see that it is down the 4.25 percent and has basically wiped out all of these gains that we saw the last uh, four trading days we're heading towards the very bottom of the bullish band which is the bottom here which is at 3863 so it is basically closing basically there's no pullback at the close so we may see this continue tomorrow but i would be very surprised if we saw this break down significantly without seeing a, a fair amount of bounce before continuing uh, going down. So roughly 4,000, that's probably where we will si see sellers come back in and sell this to the downside. We have the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction. That is definitely going to be resistant. Then we have the 50 moving average also going to be resistant. And then the 200 moving average also going to be res resistant. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. And we're approaching oversold conditions. Looking at the weekly chart for this, we can see that we're also here approaching um, oversold conditions, which should be a fairly um, big 
flag uh, because if you just see what happened here in the in 2020 where we got all the way down towards a 21 in the weekly chart and we saw this massive rally to the upside so at this some point uh, this market is going to turn around and have a fairly a big rally in order to get this rsi back up so if you look at the dow jones also here down 3.86 percent heading towards the previous lows here and have basically wiped out everything Taking into the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. 20 moving average will mostly be resistant. Then we have the 50 moving average, which is at 33.8 at this current stage, and will mostly move in this direction. And we have the 200 moving in this direction. And for the long term, we are basically making lower lows at this current stage, and it doesn't look like that is going to change anytime soon. So to the European markets, they have been fairly resilient but they're also breaking down so we are in this downward channel here in the dax we are have basically been at the top and uh, we have just been bouncing up and down this channel and at this current stage it looks like we are heading back towards roughly 32 uh, 13.2 k which is most likely where we this channel will uh, turn around and bounce again uh, long term target here is probably the lows here, so roughly 12.4. That is that kind of looks like where we're heading to. We're probably making a double bottom here, but it's taking quite a long time in order to get there. RSI here is at 50, so there's a lot of room to the downside in the in the in in the DAX, and the stochastic is bearish at this point, and the and the RSI and the MACD is bullish at this point, but. Considering that we're in a downward um, channel here, it is probably more likely that we will drop towards the bottom. But if we manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, they will most likely go to 14.3, then to 14.6, and then the highs here of roughly 14.9. After that, the 200 moving average comes into play. So let's look at the VIX, which is up at, up at this point, 15.06%. So 50 moving average, offered a massive amount of support uh, we have been bouncing off the 200 moving average but this time it was the 50 moving average we're up 15 percent so there's a lot of fear in the market um so as i pointed out several times we are most likely building off for higher volatility going forward and considering that that should make sense that uh, we'll most likely see all in the long term uh, these indices and also especially these tech stocks and drop so we may see this um, VIX go all the way up to 40 before uh, heading back down if we were to head back down 50 moving average is uh, has proven to be support then we have the 200 moving average here which definitely will be support which is at 22.9 at this current stage if you just look at how often we have bounced from the 200 moving average that is uh, most likely where we'll find the the very bottom of this uh, of this mar of this market. If we look at the MACD, it is uh, bearish at this point. Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So MACD is still lagging uh, fairly behind, but that is usual. If we look at the US ten-year, it has uh, dropped significantly, uh, three point fourteen percent but we have been here before but dropping below this that opens the door to the 50 moving average right here at the 4 2.8 and that is mostly where we'll see this bounce if we break below here uh, then we could drop significantly further towards the uh, the 200 moving average so hope you find this helpful you always support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much